Welcome to our show, Never Trust a Fart. Uh, we are broadcasting on Twitch to begin with, and I take it. I had some music, edited it up, put it on YouTube on every Wednesday. So this will show up on Wednesday. If you would like to be a guest on here, let us know. We will invite you to our Zoom meeting, which is what we're using the format here. That's what this is, Zoom. Streamed over to Twitch and then recorded to, for YouTube. I'll just go hard key on this. Ah, welcome to another episode of Never Trust a Fart. Just a couple of people, you know, a couple of typical guys who think they're funny. Yeah. Look what we have to think with. <laughs> so now, now it's colder than crap outside and I gotta go work in my garage today. I'm not looking forward to that. Oh. We sat there and rearranged our house. Um, this is gonna be the first year that I actually had two trees, or more than one tree, I should say, up. Um, this is something that my other half been, wants to do. She, she, If it was up to her, we'd have a tree in every room to include the bathrooms. <laughs> you know completely, completely decked out she um what she needs to do is she needs she has this idea of um going into her own little business of decorating homes so um, that'd yeah. be cool oh she'd be good at it too That's just i would she'd pay do for it. that i would pay for that because i hate the decoration i hate putting it back i don't mind having it up but for me my parents were always really good about making christmas good for me but our family was so dysfunctional that my sister would never be around because she wasn't talking to my, my parents. My brother wouldn't be around because he wasn't talking to my parents. I can remember one time in 52 years that my entire family was around for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So I grew up kind of not really liking Christmas that much. And then my first wife was so Christmassy that literally they would give each other Christmas gifts underneath the uh, Christmas tree, but they were all Christmas ornaments. So you'd or open up an ornament and put it on the tree for next year. Then you buy an ornament, and, and it was ridiculous. And one day I got home from work, and we were working nights together, and I came home, and I'll be damned if everything in my house that was mine, trophies or plaques or photos or my me wall that I had from military life and all, were in plastic bags, shoved, and very unceremoniously thrown on the back patio. Yeah. And I looked, and every, it looked like, Christmas barfed in our apartment. Yeah. It was all over the place. I believe and that made, that made me hate it again. I mean, I got to the point where I disdained Christmas. And now that I got kids, I'm trying to get back into it. And, um, and you know, I'm I out was there fortunate. risking my I mean, I was an only child. And um, every year, my, my grandmother on my father's side, um, she would have a Christmas party at her house in Fremont. Uh, and she was, she was scheduled this like a year out. And she would buy for everybody for like a whole year. I mean, and she always gave great gifts. Um, and it'd be like the first weekend of December. So we were, you know, the entire fam, you know, the whole Jenkins clan would be able to show up. That's cool. And yeah, and and, and do the exchange and um, have a good time. Um, she'd always cook her uh, noodles and chicken. Uh, mm -hmm. Just wonderful memories, you know. My parents, they always had a. Uh, you know, we'd open Christmas or open presents uh, in the morning. I have to adjust because my family now they like to do at least one, if not all, the presents the night before, uh, which is not bad. You know, that means everybody doesn't have to wake up at the crack of dawn. To, you know, when the first kid wakes up. This is true. Yeah, so it, it, it has some merits, you know, and um, it's for the kids, not for me. So I'm 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 for it. You know, my father took a an adage he would no, i'm not gonna say an adage because an adage is something everybody says but his philosophy was i'm gonna make damn sure this is the best christmas ever because it might be our last one together yeah, i never really thought too much about that until he died in november it was 11 days from now 16 years ago 17 years ago and then christmas was it was slight because he hadn't done his shopping yet and his whole deal was it was great the way he used to work it is he would leave he was bob Irvin, i was bob Irvin. he put his name as you know no middle initial on all of his credit cards and debit cards and all that and you know if ever anything ever happens to me use this card so we made sure that christmas man my two kids were like totally um hey uh, come here anyway my two kids were totally spoiled yeah this one didn't know it there you say hi you're in here say hi hi sweetie wave there you go yeah hi i see you <laughs> I love um, the stories of her. <laughs> oh, she, she's definitely, we're all three of them have good, good stories. They hate it when I, I share them online, though, but, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, well, let's face it, that's another, you know, great fodder for this show is, um, you know, 
I'm a I'm a father or grandfather now. Yep. It's like uh, between me and the missus, we've raised uh, seven kids. No, six daughters ourselves, and now two grandkids we're raising. So uh, I didn't think it'd be a career choice when I started becoming a father, but here I am. Uh, well, that's kind of. Cool. Uh, you know, anyways, we got all these stories that we can share on here, and uh, one I wanted to share right now because uh, we're post Halloween, and I want I should have shared this before Halloween. My uh, one of my daughters before uh, me and her mother split up, the last Halloween we had, she went around the neighborhood, you know, and we introduced them all, you know, to uh, trick or treating, and they just they're gonna give away free candy, and I just gonna <laughs> wear a costume. I just got a knock on the door, and all oh, the lights on. I got a knock on the door, and they'll give me candy, you know. And they they were, they were hitting it, you know. They come back a pill, pillowcase full, you know. The problem was on uh, November first, uh, we get out, you know we we picked them up from school or somewhere or did something. I forget what we were doing, but as soon as you know the the sun was going down, we just get out of the car, and we're all you know, where's our middle one? Hey, we look over. She's at the neighbor's house. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! <laughs> <laughs> that's cute that's cute you know we had a problem with all of ours in the fact that they get their their booty and they want to eat it right now well and doesn't we every kid every generation food. yeah every generation and we tried to get them not to do that you know it's not good for you please don't and it was an uphill battle so we finally said you know what you want it chow down so they'll eat as much as they want november 1st or 2nd they'll be sick as a dog and they learn their lesson yeah so i'm oh. okay with that we would just sit there and we would check for, um, you know, pinholes, um, you know, the obvious stuff, you know, to make sure they're yeah. safe. And of course, we got to take our taxes out of it, you know, the, the parents' portion. <laughs> Finder's fee. Yeah. Uh, the services for making sure, you know, and, and also, you know, allowing them, you know. It's, <laughs> you like Reese's, you right, honey? Reese's okay, here's Reese's. Cups. These are nasty. Huh? But you don't want to eat Reese's peanut butter cups. Those are nasty. Yeah, right. <laughs> My missus, that's, <laughs> you know, she. <laughs> She sat there and she bought this year um, a bunch of candy for the school. You know, they did their little thing at school. And um, I love Skittles. Uh, you know, I don't sit there and go out of my way to buy Skittles. But um, if, if they're there and to be had, I love them. You know, I think they taste great. Well, she got these zombie Skittles. Warning, people. Warning. Yeah. No, not like regular Skittles. Um, they, they tasted like... Um, um, there, there's something wrong, you know. <laughs> it, 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 you know. I wasn't tasting the rainbow. I was tasting something else, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't right. Um, I yeah, forgot I at, what it is, but there's something you can mix with Skittles if you're really mean. And there's another candy, and uh, I think we're the, I don't know. There's like something chocolatey or something like that, and I forgot what it is that you mix with them, just yeah. to kind of throw people off. If you if you're if you're gonna go where I think you're gonna go, if you put like M and M's or something like that, something like you said, soft, and yeah. then those Skittles are hard, so you're just chomping away, and then you get a <laughs> that might be it. I think that's it. And you have to watch out. You have to be, you know, a certain color Skittle or something like that. But uh, yeah, okay, that was that was it. Um, you know, my wife did last year. Okay, uh. we're lucky. You know, I talked about my neighborhood a few moments ago. Yeah, but in our neighborhood, when it's not COVID. You easily have a thousand kids. Seriously, everybody in town, in the county, uh -huh. brings their kids to our street because it's the nicer houses and they Thank usually pretty much go all out. Yeah. And my wife last year had a really capital idea when we lived around the block where it was really heavy. We moved back to this side. It's not as heavy over here. But when the teenagers came by, we'd give them top ramen. <laughs> and man, were we popular. We went through what? Four cases of Top Ramen, and you see, <laughs> and they knew dude, it. go over there, man! They're giving away ramen. <laughs> they loved it. You know, the little ones got their sweet candy, and the kid, the uh, teenagers, got ramen, and that was they, they scored. You think I was giving them little gold bars? Yeah, nineteen cents a uh, package. <laughs> That's yeah. brilliant. <laughs> or if you buy them at a restaurant supply store, they're even oh. cheaper. They're almost like fifteen, ten, twelve cents a, a package. That's so true. Town. And uh, so we did that. And first off, I want to know which restaurant sells ramen. That, that's pretty bad. Yeah. But, well, um, it might be ramen is ramen. And if you get something with ramen, there you are. There, Yeah, possibly. You know. Uh, but. They don't have to put the powder in it. 
Yeah, the sodium powder, um, all they have to do is just, if they can make their own, you know, just use the noodle for the noodle, that wouldn't mm. be a bad idea. Well, I'll make my own uh, uh, Asian broth, like a ginger pork broth or something like that, and I'll put those noodles in there. Exactly, but that's my it's point. Not the, it's not the broth packets that's so unhealthy for you, it's the noodles. Those noodles are, you know, they're plastic and lead probably, they're so nasty for you. But they still, hey, you know, they, they taste good and they got me through college. You know, it's funny that they, you mentioned that. Uh, when I was in the military, we had the brilliant idea. Um, military police, uh, me and my buddies, uh, four of us, uh, we decided we were going to go into Colorado Springs and go trick-or-treating. And then afterwards, give all the candy that we collected to the um, hospital, the children's ward, so all the kids that weren't able to trick-or-treat would have something. Except for the Reese's, of course. Uh, no, no, my, my, my wife now um, wasn't with me so Reese's were oh, okay. still fair game <laughs> it's my current wife that Reese's fiend so anyways yeah we we sat there and we put something together and see I I think I went as a skeleton my my roommate animal he had a werewolf uh, apropos yeah exactly and ripped up shirt it was cold me and animal froze our butts off and uh, but we went to uh, trick-or-treating in Colorado Springs uh, Breckenridge area um, famous for the Olympics and we actually went to this one house. They gave away silver dollars. Yeah. 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 They sat there and found, popped a silver dollar in every one of our bags. Bro, you have got to be kidding me. You know, we hit the rich neighborhood. Uh, we hit another another house. They were having a Bible study. And uh, it's like, um, man, we got to get to the, the, the hospital. Um, <laughs> so anyway, we end up over at the hospital. And they won't take uh, any of our candy because it's not packaged. So we ran out. We got some packaged candy, brought it back. Uh, that's what we did that year. Uh, that's cool. That's really neat. Yeah, a bunch of late teen, early twenty, or most actually late teen um, kids trick or treating. We we had an ulterior motive. Um, I remember one year, I had a ghillie suit. You know what a ghillie suit is? Of course. course. I'll show and, a picture of it right now. For those of you that don't know, here it is. Um, and I stood in our bushes, and I had the tray of uh, candy on my hand, and nobody saw that I was the one holding it. So these two teenage boys came on by and they saw the the bowl and you know their comment was, "Oh, look at these fools! They're leaving a whole bowl of candy out here. Grab the oh, whole geez. thing." So when they did, I I rolled it down. And the kids kind of freaked out. One, the smart one, says, "Well, this is on a uh, actuator. I've seen these all the time on YouTube. This is that. Just just grab it and go." <laughs> they reached over to grab it and I stood up and could I help you? And three 15-year-old boys screamed like five-year-old girls threw their candy all over the place and took off down the street like their asses were on fire. Oh, yeah. And I picked up all the candy, put it back in my bowl, and gave kids t double and triple treats for the next hour. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. Uh, yeah, it was always the scariest house is the one that, you know, you go up there and it looked like it had a mannequin or a person. <laughs> <laughs> it's like even though you know that's a person, it's still creepy as all heck. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. It's fun. I enjoy uh, Halloween. I like having the kids get together and do costumes and all that. And I enjoyed. Uh, well, we're around the country now. We, you know, it's like nobody comes around. Uh, Benji did a great job of uh, decorating here uh, for no one except us. Yeah. It was for us. Oh, and I saw a really sad video online, but COVID hit pretty hard. I mean, we had maybe about 20% of the kids we normally would have. Mm -hmm. And the people who did go out there and participate, to their credit, used the big old tube where they dropped the, the candy down the tube and went over to the bag. And all. It was kind of cool, but it was so sad watching that. I forgot where I was going with this one, but um, about decorating and all. Yeah. It was... Yeah. COVID. It was kind of a letdown, all the decorations we did, and only 20% of the kids. Oh, um, touching back on that earlier criticism that we had, one very good point. I mean, you know, that, that, that gave that the light, but it also touched on something that I was thinking also, is that uh, I read that YouTube is, uh, they're demonetizing channels that are um, oh, sensitive, I guess you can call it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Inflammatory? Not inflammatory, but more like if, say that we did nothing but talk about, you know, COVID and we we're trying to monetize, it'd be uh, like we we're profiting off their other people's losses. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I can totally see that. That's um, yeah. So anyways, that's another reason why I wanted to get uh, away from uh, COVID and politics because they're downers for one. Well, they uh, are. Yeah. They are. 
I mean, look at the the amount of people that are getting depressed by COVID. I don't want to deal with it right now, and it's coming back full bore where I am. So, well, you know, and I think it's a good idea to stay away from it simply because it is a downer, and I think people are going to log on to try and get away from that. I'd like to be able to have a channel that kind of makes people escape for a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, yeah, I'm totally okay with that. I think it's it's a neat idea. I, I want people to laugh. I want people to have the fun that we used to have at our table and all that. Exactly. You know, the entire day at work, you're looking forward to lunch. And I want that to be us right now. Yeah. And I think anybody that's been with you and I know that, you know, once we get together and talk, it turns into a fun time. And even the most uh, you know introverted people tend to come out with us. Yeah. So. And if we get more people in here, um, you know, it just gets all that much more better. I'd love to have people. Please, people, if you see us and you want to get on board, listen to this guy right here. This dude right here. But he... Uh, puts down the uh, email address or the uh, the info to get online because sitting back and BSing with people to me is fun and I don't care who you are what you are when you are how you were if you're fun to talk to get on board yep. and you know what's even funnier is that you pointed to the other wrong direction I'm over here <laughs> oh okay so this if yeah. I'm pointing that way I'm pointing my little old lady and I don't want to bring her on board but uh, <laughs> this guy yeah he's around here somewhere yeah. Brady Bunch <laughs> the Brady <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah, it was funny is that on on zoom which is what we uh communicate on um mm -hmm. it's over here on this this channel and i'm below uh bob so it's like if i go like this <laughs> yeah, i don't know where you are and, but, i don't have but over here on uh, here yeah so if anybody texts me i can see that and i've got you right right there and that's it that's all i have that's all i really want it's too much stuff like i said earlier look like darth vader's bathroom and i don't want that i'm enjoying this <laughs> <laughs> oh is she there she's uh right next to me she's she's there i, I she's keep hearing her, yeah she's doing her homework right now oh good so yeah we our are little a ones are in school yeah our little ones are out of school um there's quarantine every time somebody comes up it's this is really weird i mean the teachers i god bless the teachers right now mm -hmm. okay they're doing such a great job trying to keep up with this and this is a totally new paradigm for them and me i graduated high school persona non grata now they wanted to get my butt out of there i wanted my butt out of there i never ever thought that i would be an instructor i knew i'd be a father one of these days and my teaching is going to be okay. You put the, the the rear sight and this sight together, and you put the uh, the heart of the deer right there, and pull the trigger slowly. Don't jerk it. And I'll teach you how to do that, or I'll teach you how to change the tire. I never thought I was going to have to start teaching division. Yeah, and exactly. In a new I mouse. So uh, my kids are going to be bloody morons when they get out of this if they're going to count on me to teach them, because yeah, I've got a pretty good grasp of the English language, but I don't remember what conjunctions are anymore and i have to go out and rent that uh, whole schoolhouse rock video series i so love I can keep that stuff oh that was great stuff um but i need to go out and rent that so i can keep up with my my youngest uh schooling yeah. and oh, by the way the um, water is disgusting says what is happening water is disgusting yeah that's his name oh you know what? I totally concur. It needs to be sterilized with single malt scotch. Yeah. That was like my father. You know, Jenks, when my father, you know, was he, when he's getting up and he knew he was getting ready to go, he said, see this wee bottle of scotch right here? Mm -hmm. When I die, I want you to pour it over my grave. And it was a beautiful bottle of uh, like 12-year-old cask oak Balvini scotch. At the time. I said, I father, Wish. I'll do it for you. But do you mind if I filter it through my kidneys first? <laughs> Yeah, there's a so, couple of graves I wouldn't mind doing that too, but that's beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my list is long but distinguished, and I have to drink a lot of tea before it happens because I'm going to start going dust by about the fifth one. Well, yeah, fortunately, they're spread out, so I can <laughs> reload. You do an aerosol. <laughs> yeah, I, I can reload. <laughs> so uh, please come back on. Please talk with us. Let us know what's going on because I'm sure that Jenks is really tired of talking to me all the time. Yeah, yeah, you know, if nothing else, this is our chance to always catch up more often than we used to. Um, this is true. You know, we're best friends. We're two thousand miles apart, and I think we talk once every couple of months, maybe. Yeah, exactly. And now we're we're together actually talking again. And it's kind of nice. I enjoy this, even if nobody else gets on to the whole idea. Two friends catching up is kind of neat. Yeah, exactly. Once a week, and uh, we actually have a little project we get to do in the meantime. So we'll go ahead and uh, wrap this up for this episode. And if you want to get on here, you know, please drop us a line. Let us know you're here. Um, 
and uh, we'll invite you to our Zoom meeting so you, we can actually, you know, if you got a camera, you can actually have your picture up. I'm going to tr maybe try to see if we can get Discord on here so I'll make it um, even more a little uh, accessible. Sounds like a winner. All righty, well, my friend. Until next have week. Have a great one. Any last We're thoughts? Signing off. No, you know, I just want to tell people to make sure you come back, talk with us. Please add some uh, flavor to the soup. You know, well, we love talking to you as long as you're polite, kind, and, uh, you know, generally a good person. Exactly. So. Don't forget, wear your mask. Exactly. All right. Bye bye. Peace out. Uh, thanks for joining us with Never Trust a Fart. If you want to support us, please go on to Patreon. Uh, you can see it on the graphic right there on how to get to it. If we call in on Zoom, uh, thank you, Zoom, record it on Twitch. Then I go ahead and take that recording, edit it, and replace it on YouTube every Wednesday. If you like this video, please um, hit the like button. If you can subscribe, that would definitely help us out. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.